All right, so I've got something special for you automotive like-minded folk out there. It's not all about just petting the dog. No, we got cars to talk about and cool cars at that. Every now and then a cool car comes my way and I just got to show it off. And that goes for this. When was the last time you saw a 91 Honda Civic Wago van? That's right, it's a Wago van. This is not the coveted all-wheel drive Wago van. They did make an all-wheel drive version. This is a two-wheel drive, and I believe it's the DX version. It's not the base base. It's kind of the mid-trim level. It's gray. It's a pretty cool color. That's very trendy these days. It's been fairly well kept. I think the owners had it for many, many years, and it's pretty neat. Let's check out some of the details and just give you a good eyeful of what you don't see anymore. You might see the common, I think they're EKs or EJs, the coupes or the, the sedans, but the wagons are pretty rare, pretty hard to find. Look at the long roof on this thing. Now it is a bit peeling, clear coat is coming up, but it's pretty cool. It's got the factory spoiler there, it lets air go down over the rear window and clear it off does not have a roof rack. It's got these cool little vents behind the rear door to let air, I guess when you slam the door, it gives you an opportunity for the, the air to escape. Really neat. Oh, and it's got the, let's see if it'll do it. Yes, the electric automatic seat belts for the upper part, watch, shut the door. Oh, you gotta turn the key to make them go on. Anyhow, these are motorized seat belts, only on 91 cars in America, I believe. Don't, don't, don't quote me on that. I think it was only America. We'll go around the other side. And I'll show you how it works when you sit in the driver's seat. We are looking at the early dual point fuel injection. It's got two fuel injectors in the plenum there, and it shoots fuel down through the intake manifold, very similar to a carburetor, but it's not a carburetor, it is electronically programmed. And it's a 16 valve engine, single overhead cam. It's a D series, and I think it's a 1.6. I will have to look really closely at the underhood sticker, but I believe it's either a 1.5, probably a 1.6. It has the classic Civic look. This one's in really good shape, there's no rust. No real accident damage. Well, there is a bit of accident damage right there. Of course, as I say that, I notice it. Uh, let's take a look on the inside. I mentioned that it had the kind of rare automatic uh, seat belts. Let's see how those work. So you get in the car like this, and the seat belt is right there. And when you turn the key, I'm gonna turn the key here. Yeah, both seat belts return and retract. And when you open the door, they're really fast. So this interior is cloth, but a nice quality cloth, I must say. Um, we're looking at the dash here. I don't know if you can see past the glare. But this thing's got 291,000 miles on it. So it's been around the block. It has a digital clock air conditioning, a cassette player, and a CD player. All factory Honda, all still on the car. That's actually pretty cool. The seats are in good shape. They're cloth, they're not stained. We'll take a look in the back seat here in a minute. Really neat, lots of headroom. Yeah, the code name for these was Wago Van. I don't see it written on the car anywhere. So let's get out and take a look. I'm gonna turn the key off here. Got that classic beep chime. Uh, very basic dash layout. We have a rear window washer. We have a rear wiper. Uh, we have a front wiper, of course. And just basic, basic, no airbags, no crash protection of any type. No big A pillars, no door bars, no side impact airbags no brake assistance avoidance none of that this is a real man's car oh 
I forgot to mention, it does have a five-speed transmission, and you can see the lever there has been well used over the years. Pretty cool. Let's look in the back. I don't know if these rear doors are larger than a sedan. They seem to be a little longer, so there might be more foot room, foot area space in the back. Lots of room. And of course, we got the wagon. I need to pop the hatch. Let's see, let's see if you can see in the back. Excuse me. I forgot to pop the lever. Let's take a look in the back here. This is what makes a wagon a wagon, right? So we lift up the wagon and it's got the dual strut option. What's up with that? That's homemade. Two struts on this side. I think it's homemade. And one strut on this side. The seats fold down 60 40. I don't want to dig through the customer stuff here, but I think there's a little room in the trunk area, maybe for a spare tire. It's only got one speaker. That speaker's missing. Not sure what's up with that, but a pretty great example. It has all the trim still attached. You just don't see these anymore. Rear wiper. It's got the spoiler on the top. Wow, that's cool. There we go. 1991 Honda Wago van. I wish it was the all-wheel drive one, but those are even rare. Okay, we're going to clock out for now. Wanted to show you this really cool example of a really cool car from days gone by. Stella could really care less, but what does Stella know? We know what cool cars look like. All right, thanks for watching. We'll check you out on the next video. Not sure what that'll be. But if you stay tuned, you're certain to find out.